Okay, so now I'm going to do the load test for the Florian power bank and generator. Again, this is a 500 watt hour capacity and uh, it says maximum discharge current is 40 amps. So that's actually quite a bit. And the inverter is a 250 watt inverter. So even though the battery is rated 500 watt hours, the inverter is only good for 250 watts and that would be on the AC 110 volt side. So I'm gonna do a little load test today and show you guys how many things you can plug into it. We're gonna start with the 120 volt AC and it's at uh, 110 volt I guess it is and it's 12.2 uh, volts is the battery now the downside to this unit is it does not mention percentage it only has the voltage and it ranges from 10 volts on the low side to 12.6 volts on the high side so you can kind of guess about what percentage this is this is probably like 85% or something like that charge so um, first thing I've got this Toshiba laptop here and we're going to charge this using AC see I don't know if you can see that but it is it is charging now we'll just go ahead and turn on this laptop I think this laptop is completely dead oh I just heard the fan turn on on the inverter here three percent available so this battery on this laptop is only at three percent so we're gonna let that charge Next, I'm going to start using my USB ports here. So I just turned on the USB. You have to turn on this, these buttons here to enable the USB ports. First thing is I've got a power bank here that's pretty dead. So i got to go ahead and charge it. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that into the top USB. And there we go. And you can see on the, you can see right here, the power bank is now charging as well. Next, I've got a pair of headphones, JBL headphones, and uh, we'll go ahead and plug these in. Okay. Plug that into the next one. So now I've got two USB things plugged in. Set that right here. And you can see that one is also charging. Right here's the light. Next, I'm going to plug in my phone. So here's my here's my phone. I'll go ahead and plug that in. That uses USB-C. Okay, that's charging. And last but not least, for the USB-C side, for the USB side, I have my HP laptop, which charges via USB-C. So I've got that plugged in here. And this is power delivery. This is going to be the power delivery spec. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. There we go. So if you don't know what power delivery is, it's a faster way of charging via USB. So it should charge this laptop in about an hour or so. And I can see the light is green or uh, orange on here, so that means it's charging a laptop. So far I've got two laptops charging, a power bank, a pair of headphones, and my phone charging all at the same time. Now we're going to take this a step further and use the car outlet, the 12 volt outlet. And this is going to be a pretty big load. What this is, is a heater that heats water up in your car. So it's just a heating element connected to a 12 volt. This is probably going to be the highest load device for this. It probably uses over 100 watts, maybe between 100 and 150 watts. So we'll go ahead and turn on the car outlet and watch the voltage here. You see the voltage is at 12 volts. When I plug this in, it may sag a bit more. See, so it already came down to 11.8 volts. And that's just something when you put a, a, a large load on the batteries, it is going to sag your voltage a little bit. And that's just the case with any battery. If you were to unplug some things, that battery voltage would come right back up again. It's kind of like a rubber band, the way the voltage sags and comes back, depending on the load on the system. So that's it, guys. We're fully 
we're fully uh, engaged here with this power bank. We've got one 110 volt outlet, four USB outlets, and one 12 volt car outlet all uh, plugged in here. Now, I know from previous experience that in order to get the water to boil, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes using this um, heating element. So we'll just leave it plugged in and see if we can get some nice hot water to make some tea or coffee. And uh, yeah, just let all these things charge. Make sure that there's no load issues with this in the long term. Uh, my Toshiba laptop, this is the one I plugged in first. It is, it started at 3%, it's now up to 6%. So that's doing well. Everything else, I'm, st I'm looking at everything, all the lights are on, everything's charging. So yeah, this thing is uh, just running like a champ. Okay, so we have our water simmering. It looks like it's not going to get to a full rolling boil. Uh, I think the reason for that is uh, when, you're, when you plug this into your car, the car's alternator keeps the voltage in your car at about 14 volts. And here I'm down to 11.4 volts, so it's, it's not quite as much power as uh, your car would be delivering. But it is definitely taking it up to a nice simmer. The water is basically boiling at this point. So we'll call this cup of water done. And uh, you can also see my headphones are still charging. My power bank is still charging. And uh, up here on this laptop, make the screen a little bit brighter here. On this laptop, this, this laptop was completely dead when we started out. Um, it's now up to 14%, so we are gaining some ground here. And then also my phone, which was, I think my phone started out at 90%, so it was almost full and now it's fully charged. And then my USB-C laptop is still charging as well. You can see it, the light is still on here. So I think that's going to do it for this review of the load test. Oh, one thing I want to show you guys is, uh, so since this does not show percentage, like I told you, you have to go off of voltage and it ranges from 10 volts to 12.6 volts. So here at 11.4 volts, this seems like it would be about a a little over 50% charge. However, when you start disconnecting things like the 12 volt uh, heater here, I'll, I'll, I'll turn that off, you notice the voltage instantly goes up and like, like I said that's because of the voltage sag. So that's one downside to this unit is you don't really know the percentage that it's the battery is because you can only see the voltage which changes based on load. And uh, we'll go ahead and start unplugging these other USB devices here. And uh, then you should see the voltage start to come up even more. So now I'm only running the laptop charger off the charging brick. And uh, it's still at 11.6 volts. And then once we move this glass out of the way, let's turn off the laptop here. Unplug the laptop and you see it came up to 11.7 volts. So that's about all I have for this uh, test. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.